Hello everyone and welcome back to my studio. If you watched my doll transformation video a week ago, then you remember of course how many troubles I've met trying to customize this Marilyn Monroe doll. We had cracks in her head, we had broken neck, there was really all kinds of surprises and honestly I finished this doll just yesterday and approximately in an hour from now you're gonna see it online on YouTube so I don't really know if you're gonna like it, I hope so. But right now I feel kind of tired honestly and I don't really feel like starting a new huge doll transformation, you know, with all this hair root, body transformation and things like this. I more feel like having fun, just taking something small, something that I don't really know myself, something I've never worked with before and try just to have fun with it. And that's why yesterday I bought this beautiful intriguing lol surprise doll because I think that it really fits the idea of this makeover something tiny something extremely funny something very cute something childish and something where you can just a little bit freestyle and try to remake this doll into something else and I don't know I come probably from another planet but I've never seen a lol doll in person, in real life. I have some friends who have kids and from them I know that the LOL dolls are extremely popular nowadays, that all kids are completely obsessed with them. I've seen of course a couple of pictures online so I can't imagine what kind of doll it's gonna be, but I've never seen it in real life, I've never hold it in my hands, so I'm extremely curious. And when I've seen this recent edition of LOL dolls where it says on the package hair goals, makeover series, style me, 15 surprises, I felt like it's time for me to dive into the lol world. But I can tell you that at least the surprise part of all this marketing campaign works 100% even for adults, because I bought this doll yesterday and I've been already for 24 hours extremely tempted to see what is inside. I have no idea how little kids can resist this kind of temptation. Okay, let's open it. Exciting! Aha! Here we are! Will it be this girl? Let's hope so, I really like her, I really like her, I really want this one. I should probably call this video a 35 years old woman unboxing a little doll for the first time. Shock content. <laughs> okay, the first layer passed, let's move on. Wait, 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 don't fall in pieces, don't fall in pieces, wait. Here we have a book that is going to explain me everything. And I also have this kind of a mirror. <laughs> and here is our tiny doll. Hello! <laughs> She's so cute! Now let's check what is in these bags. Uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, continue. Outfit! Oh my god, what a cute outfit! Look at this tiny underwear! Oh my god, and this body is so cute! Extremely cute, guys! Extremely cute! <laughs> The next bag. This is probably a neck decoration or a belt or a hair decoration. I should probably read the instruction. Ah, it should be like this. Got it. Oh, and here we have these tiny shoes! And 
here is probably the last bag. It's supposed to be her sunglasses, I think. Yep, here they are. And here is our doll. I think she's so adorable, really, guys. Not normal. And what are these things for? For hair curling? For like real people hair curling? No, this I don't need. Here I can see the complete collection of these dolls. This is the one that we have. And she has a star here. And it means that this doll is rare. Are we going to destroy a rare doll now? Seems so. Yeah, these dolls are really cute. I just still don't know what to do with this. It's for chaining your dolls. Should I maybe bring it to the Museum of Torture in our city? <laughs> but what is this? Let's, let's read the instruction. Okay, I figured it out. Here it is. This thing I supposed to connect to this thing if I ever really lose my mind and decide to use the thing as a handbag. Useful. Oh, you see guys, reading is important. It seems I have found another surprise inside. Seems these things are not just for curling your hair. Yes, I have found a hidden surprise. And the book says that if my doll drinks some water, she's going to cry afterwards. Let's try. I don't know, I don't really think this water is going inside. And then I'm supposed to push it. Or what? Oh no, so push it. I don't think my doll can cry. Look, what am I doing wrong? There is water inside. I put it into the doll's mouth. But nothing, this water is just doesn't get in. See, I'm pushing. Oh, now something probably... No, here it is. Just went next to the mouth and if I push her head also nothing is happening and I don't really see here no holes, nothing for water to come out strange so here is the complete set and I can tell you that I really love it the only thing that probably a little bit disappointed me in some way is that the packaging said that all these dolls have real hair so here it says I have real hair but anyway it doesn't really matter because today we're going to make something completely new completely different and absolutely didn't feel like rerouting hair anyway today and you know what I think it's kind of Easter time in Europe now and not only in Europe of course and I don't really have any special project for it so why not let's turn this doll into a real super cute Easter bunny but for this first of all we have to remove her Michael Jackson costume I bet they created it before watching the Liver Neverland documentary and then I'm going to remove all this paint from her head and her face using pure acetone like always Wait, where is my acetone? <laughs> her look, by the way, her eyebrows are not really symmetrical. Look, here is her nose, here is one eyebrow, and here is another one. They're like moved way to the right. It's funny. This black paint with glitter on her head is, of course, quite difficult to remove, let's be honest. Well, it took me quite a long time and a lot of acetone to get rid of all this glitter on her head. And now I'm ready to start the transformation. And I want to start with covering her hair with a couple of layers of pink acrylic paint. Thank you. 
And after all the layers of this acrylic paint get dry, I cover the doll's head and the body with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. And when the sealant gets dry, I'm going to continue working on her hair because I'm planning to add a couple of colorful strands here. You see, I've prepared a bunch of pencils for it. And I'm also going to add more shadows, highlights to her hair to make it look colorful, realistic. Yeah, you know, to make some fun hair. <laughs> And now I'm going to take white and very dark brown acrylic paint and I'm going to add the brightest highlights and the darkest shadows to her hairstyle. Okay, I will continue working on her hair a little bit later and now I think we can start working on her face. You can see that this doll has a very detailed face sculpt. Honestly, I've never seen that before. You see, she has her cat eyeliner sculpted. Her eyelashes are molded. <laughs> the first time I see that detailed face sculpt and you know... I don't have that much freedom today because of this. They said the eyes will be here and the eyes will be here today. I don't know, maybe in the next time we should try remote re-sculpt her face a little bit. You know, something like plastic surgery for a little surprise or something like this. But today we are going to work with what we have already. And let's at least draw her eyebrows on the right place. Symmetrical, it will be already a very good beginning. <laughs> You see, the part of her left eyebrow is going to be covered with her hair. And now let's also draw some eyelids, maybe some shadows around her eyes. I start drawing it with my pencils and then I'm going to continue with soft pastels. After blushing her face, I'm also going to blush her body, of course. And then add both to her face and to her body a touch of pink pastels. And now let's take my pencils and draw the white of her eyes. This layer I will have to repeat a couple of times to get really the best coverage of this white pencil. Or you can also use white acrylic paint as well. Let's also work on her eyebrows because they're almost completely disappeared under all this blushing. And her lips I'm going to make pink. The last layer I repeated three times, like I said, and now you see this white color looks really good, so I can start working on the irises. And I think I'm going to give her very bright blue eyes this time. Oh, 
On the next layer I draw the irises more detailed, I add all kinds of highlights, shadows and I think I'm also going to draw some kinds of waterline. And then I'm going to take my extra sharp black pencil and I'm going to draw the bottom eyelashes. And this time the eyelashes are going to be really exaggeratedly big, very expressive, because of course we're not trying to create here a realistic doll or something like this. We're going pure for 100% a cartoonish makeover. And now I think I can take white acrylic paint and add the brightest accents to her eyes. Okay, now let's talk about her outfit. Please, tell me. I know there are some LOL surprise doll experts in the comments. Is this pink, I don't know how to call it, shell, the thing that protected the doll in the box? Is it meant to be just a protection or it's also some extra outfit? Because honestly, I see here an ideal Easter dress. You see, I have cut one of these sleeves already short and it looks really good to me. So I think we should continue working in this direction and also cut these legs off and the second sleeve as well. And then we will see if it fits our doll. And let's try it on our doll. I think it's just ideal, guys. <laughs> so now I'm going to cover this dress with a couple of layers of white acrylic paint. And then I'm going to decorate it in some also fun and playful way. Even though in this dress our doll is going to look more like a toddler hunting easter eggs than like an easter bunny, I still want to give her a pair of bunny ears. And for this I'm going to use two q-tips and a epoxy sculpt. And first of all I'm going to sculpt the ears around these flat sides of the q-tips and then I'm going to let them dry for 24 hours. Thank you. 
And then the next day, when the ears get dry, I cover them with a couple of layers of acrylic paint. Now I want to install the ears and for this I'm going to make two holes in the doll's head. For this I'm going to use my Dremel tool like always. Then I'm going to cut the sticks of the Q-tips a little bit shorter. Then I will install them inside of the doll's head. Looks adorable, I think. Now I'm going to take my 3D pen and I will build a super tiny basket for my doll. Then I'm going to dry brush the basket to give it some extra texture. And now let's also sculpt a bunch of tiny easter eggs using my epoxy sculpt. Now I'm still going to attach the false lashes and add a touch of glossy varnish to her eyes. And after this I'm going to put everything together and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. And here is the result of our experiment today. I will tell you honestly guys, in the beginning of this makeover I wasn't sure if this tiny doll was even customizable. But right now I'm thinking, yeah, we probably should play some more with these lol surprise dolls. Because this doll looks absolutely adorable to me. But the most important thing is that I really had a lot of fun working on this little doll today. And I really hope guys that you had fun with me today as well. Please let me know in a comment what you think about this transformation today. I don't know, should we do it again sometimes? Or maybe there are some other more popular dolls on the market I should try to transform. Because you know, I really like discovering new kinds of dolls and restyling them. So please let me know in the comments what you think about our experiment today. So, and uh, this was the makeover of the week. I really hope, guys, you enjoyed it today. I really hope you had a lot of fun with me. And if so, please don't forget to support my channel, my art here on YouTube with your likes. 
Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you ready very soon. Next week, Friday, we are going to continue working on my Zodiac dolls, and the next one is Taurus. So, I will see you next week, Friday. Love you guys. Have fun. Bye.